Hey, Michael, you, know, you, you said before the game that you had a little trouble sleeping last night, anticipating tonight and the emotions. Um, what was it like to, to actually be out there? Um, I mean, there, there were a lot of emotions um, taking the field, you know, in some of my preparation and um, throughout the game, but um, it all hit me kind of, you know, towards the end of the game and obviously – uh, making that play and, and hearing the reaction from the fans and, and you know, um, just a lot going on from when I'm standing out there, fans, you know, uh, cheering my name and, um, you know, telling me don't go and, and, and stuff like that. I mean, it, you know, it really, it really was a special night for me. Um, you know, it's, it's tough to put into words, but, um, you know, the, the emotions were definitely there. I, I tried to fight it as 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 best I could, but um, you know, when you get a a crowd like that, uh, you know, supporting you, it's uh, it's a good feeling. It's a great feeling. You said you you tried to you know hold it off there until the end. I mean, it did look like you were uh, at least close to tears after that that catch and and after tipping your cap to the crowd. What was that moment in particular like for you when it all kind of flooded in and, and then even afterwards, um, you know, holding your hands up with Tony Tarasco outside the dugout and, and you know, hugging all the teammates in, in, once you got back in? Um, man, it's, uh, like I said, um, to hear, to hear the, that reaction, you know, we had the seven line there. Um, the seven line got me a little bit earlier in the game. Um, and you know the rest of the crowd just after that play it was um, it was it was just special for me. I don't I don't know if I can point out an emotion, um, probably something I've never really felt before. Um, and then again with with my teammates, you know I I, I didn't anticipate uh, getting hugs from everybody. Um, I didn't anticipate Tony holding my hands up. Um, and then uh, the reaction in uh, in the clubhouse. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, yeah. Those those things are special to me, and uh, you know, it was uh, it was definitely uh, something I'll never forget. Tony. Hey, Michael, I, I guess I'll follow up on that. What was the, the reaction in the clubhouse when you got in after the game? Um, we, you know, we just, we do what we always do. We, we celebrate the win and, um, you know, players of the game. And <clears throat> uh, McCann, McCann said some nice things, um, you know, just, and again, um, you know, getting hugs from everybody, um, you know, all that all that stuff and you know I mean you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat what what was said in there but um but it was special it was it was it was from the heart um it definitely you know it's something that I won't forget and um you know I just I uh and my message to them was you know it's been a tough year um it's been a grind for all of us but um to have the guys in there like like I do made it a whole lot easier and uh you know so we're a very close group um you know we spend more time together than than we do with our families um you know so for them to react the way that they did was was awesome um and uh you know again something i won't forget i, I know you don't know what the future with the next few months are going to hold for you but being out there tonight experiencing those sorts of emotions did this feel like the end of a chapter at the end of an era for you personally um well i mean just just the way everything played out you know everybody giving hugs and and you know the fans chant my name and all that um i guess in some ways you know it does feel like that but you know i i couldn't tell you what's going to happen like you said over the next couple months um you know i don't know what the future holds but you know, just it, I guess it's a moment where you where you look back at everything that's happened uh, up to this point. Um, 
you know, a World Series um, that I was really fortunate to to be able to come up and and have an impact in my first year. Um, you know, a, a big injury in an, in an All Star year. Um, you know, some some adversity and um, you know some ups and downs, some some tough years, some good years, and um, you know even stuff off the field. I mean, growing to to really love the city. Um, you know, I stayed in Manhattan for five years. Um, you know, I, I moved out to, to Long Island this year and just, you know, learning more about, about the, uh, the city and the surrounding area. Um, started dating my fiance here. Um, you know, so there's, there's, there's a whole lot that goes into it that you kind of, you kind of look back on and, um, you know, yeah. and not to mention the, the hundreds of, of teammates, staff members, um, security personnel, uh, stadium workers, uh, people that all, uh, you know, I've made relationships with and, um, you know, so we'll see what happens in the future. Um, but I definitely, I, I loved every second that I was, uh, that I was blessed to, to come, uh, to play here in New York. Justin. Hey, Michael, I know you said it's all hard to put into words, but when you were mentioning a couple of the fans saying uh, not to go, how do you describe the feeling of being so special to, to fans who have rooted for so many players before you and will root for so many after you? Um, man, I mean, again, it's, it's indescribable. Um, you know, you hear all kinds of things out there. So, uh, <laughs> so today was special. It was nice to, to have, uh, to have that. And, um, and again, um, I, you know, I, I don't really know how to how to describe it. Just, I mean, maybe it's just it's just love, um, and and it's 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 mutual. Um, you know, I've I've loved um, every second of being out there on the field. I've loved uh, the interaction that I've had with the fans. You know, good or bad, it's passion, and I've got passion for the game. Um, you know, so I can understand that. Um, and, uh, you know, so I, I just, uh, I don't know how to, you know, all I can say is thank you, um, to the people who were there tonight for the people who have supported me the whole time I've been here. Um, I'm just, I'm just thankful. Thanks, Michael. Ed. Hey, Michael, when you, uh, get up here, you learn from a lot of, uh, great veterans that kind of took you under their wing and, uh. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry about that. But, um, you know, they kind of took you out under your wing and, and taught you how to win. And, and you always said how important it, it is to win here. How do you balance, you know, those feelings as you move forward with the decisions that you have to make here in the offseason? Um, well, yeah, I, I've definitely been around some incredible players, um, some, some great leaders. Um, you know, I've learned a lot from them. Uh, I've been fortunate to, to to meet a lot of them, call call a lot of them um, close friends, um, and and then you know also kind of somehow uh, becoming one of those guys that that uh, some of the guys look up to. Um, you know, I, winning's always going to be the most important thing to me. Um, you know, that's why that that's you know the big reason why this this year was so frustrating for me. Um, you know, to not to not end up where we wanted to be, um, you know. So I mean, to to play on a team that's going to win, you know, it's definitely going to be uh, you know a big part of my consideration. And um, you know, to continue to use the things that I learned from the guys that uh, um, you know that I was um, that took me under their wing and. Uh, to do my best to be one of those guys to, to the next group of players that, that comes. So. Thanks. Man. Any last questions from Matthew Robertson? Hey, Michael, uh, after you made the catch uh, and got that moment with the fans, was there any part of you that thought that that was maybe you know, the baseball gods wanted you to, wanted the ball to find you in that situation? <clears throat> I mean, it's funny you ask that because it, it kind of, it felt that way, and um, I may have, 
that thought may have crossed my mind that it was that it was supposed to happen and um you know maybe I was supposed to have my moment um I don't know you know I had I had a lot of people reach out to me before the game and you know just saying they knew it was going to be a good one um for whatever reason and <clears throat> so um so yeah I mean I don't know <laughs> It was uh it was it was definitely special to be put in that spot uh at that time. Uh, pretty pretty cool moment. Michael, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.